My name is Annie Langen. I'm a senior lecturer here at the Amsterdam International Business School in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. We're situated next to the Ajax uh, football stadium here in Amsterdam. I'm from an Irish background and I'm a member of the INBA. I've lived in five countries, which is why I have a mixed accent still. I'm originally from Summerhill County Meath in Ireland. As an international business school, AMSIT trains entrepreneurs and inter international business managers of the future. The idea is to inspire international outlook and uh, develop skills so that the students of now can be the managers of the future anywhere in the globe. The building at the moment is of course more or less empty. However, I would like to introduce you to one or two people. Hi, I'm Tamsin Johnston and I'm a student here at Amsterdam. I'm from County Down in Ireland. Um, my mum's from Clane in Kildare and my dad's from Derry. Hi, I'm Vivian Weber. I'm from St. Petersburg, Russia and I'm also a first year student at Amsterdam International Business School. It's been a bit challenging this year, but we all try to adapt to it as much as possible. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea about the international students we have here. Also, a high percentage of our staff come from all over the world, and I'm very proud to work here and work in such an international environment. It makes it normally hugely dynamic. In terms of adaptations, like other parts of the, the country and the city, we've had to install extra health and safety procedures. We've got a whole team who is here to keep us safe. I must say, as a member of staff, I feel safe uh, when I come into the building, although there are only about five or six of us in the building normally, when in fact there are uh, 140 staff normally, plus all the support staff. So in fact, uh, uh, there have been enormous uh, adaptations of that kind. Additionally, our mindset has had to develop to cope on a day-to-day -day basis with communication issues, uh, keeping in contact with each other, some people in enormous amounts of fear, other people becoming ill or even de having deaths in the family. So all of the challenges that many uh, people are facing around the world have affected us also as an education institution. We've had to wear literally a whole number of uh, new hats in order to get through this. However, on the positive side, it's been amazing to see how people of different beliefs, religions, cultural styles and very different academic and professional views have managed to point themselves in one direction and keep this all going under this what feels like sometimes never-ending international crisis. That has been heartening. Practical things which have changed in our lives is obviously we've learned to use the online communication situation to somehow create connection. But what I really hope for the future is that we will be able to connect again very soon face to face I really missed Ireland a lot during this crisis and I, I know that I, in common with many Irish people, have missed that feeling of togetherness which is particularly Irish and I wish you all the very best and hope that you'll be able to see your families and business colleagues as soon as possible. Thank you very much.